change the settings. Here we go. All right, in three, two. Really low. Welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. We continue to get you ready for the upcoming Paris Summer Olympics and uh, big time deal for the women's soccer team because we have several members of the Washington Spirit that will be participating in the Olympics. First time Olympian, Trinity Rodman. Congratulations. How's it feel? <laughs> oh, it feels amazing. Obviously, yeah. First time, like you said. So there's a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, but main feeling is excitement and I'm also very nervous. What was that phone call like when you, you know, got the call uh saying you're Olympian because you know you've never made the Olympic team. So that's that's pretty special. Yeah. Um those phone calls are always nerve wracking scary you're kind of just waiting around all day for that one phone call you don't care about anybody else that reaches out to you that day so for me I was just had my ringer on and I was just waiting um but once I got the call I heard the tone of the voice I was kind of like just hoping <laughs> and then she finally said it and again relief but excitement knowing that now I can just focus on performing and focus on the Olympics so yeah again excitement is the biggest word I could use you know obviously as a young soccer player growing up you had dreams of playing the world cup and obviously olympics is probably another one of those kind of bucket list check off the items i mean to kind of realize your goal after goal that that's got to be pretty pretty special and rewarding yeah it's it's crazy i don't i try not to think about it like that i try to just kind of go with the flow and, and play my game but yeah as each thing keeps happening it's it's great to know that i've accomplished certain things and Hopefully going into the Olympics, we can get a better result than this past World Cup. So um, I'm excited for that as well, to just improve and get better. Right. There's certainly a lot of pride with the national team because um, didn't have the result you wanted in the World Cup. You haven't had the couple of results in the past Olympics. Uh, I think Tokyo, they, they did not get the gold. So I got to believe there's a little bit of a pride here. You want to get back on uh, that gold standard, per se. Yeah, for sure. I think I always say this. It's just us competing against us. Um and that's just going off of what you just said. We want to get better and we want to get that gold. And it's really important to us and to stay in that circle and to just improve. But yeah, I think we have a lot to prove to everyone, but also ourselves and knowing that we can do it, especially with a younger team coming in a little bit less experience. So um, proving everybody wrong and kind of doing our thing. About that a little bit, because there is a, there's a youth movement right now with the national team. What'd you think of the roster makeup? I mean, yeah, you never know what's going to happen and what Emma's decision was, but obviously I've been able to be in camps and play with um, this roster, and I think it's a great makeup of a roster, and again, youth, which is um, a shift from the past, but we have a good amount of veterans sprinkled in there, which is amazing, and I think the different levels of experience is great for us to learn from each other and continue to get better. Do you now try to take on maybe more of a leadership role? I know you're still young, you're still growing, but what, how do you kind of take that role? Yeah, I think for me, it's always just the balance of understanding that I do now have a little bit more experience, yeah. but also knowing that I'm young and I have a lot of time to get better and improve and learn from others. So, um, yeah, I I would say I, I like to lead in my own way on the field for sure, but um, staying humble and understanding that I still have a lot to learn as well. And I love to see a couple of other your uh, spirit teammates, uh, especially Casey Kruger. What a story that is making the Olympic team. What is that like for you to see that? Um, it's it's amazing. I love Casey so much, and she deserves it so much. Obviously, she's been in and out of camps. Yeah. She's had a, a kid, which I is know. crazy in itself. I always give so much credit to mothers, but – She's a great person, great player, and she's she works so hard every single day to to get to this point. So I'm so happy to have her on the squad, and I'm happy to be with her as well to be able to talk with her and, and confide in her. New leadership in the national team, Emma Hayes. You're starting to get to know her, getting to know her style and her tactics. What do you think so far? I think she's been great for the team. I think it's definitely a change of scenery for sure. She's got a big personality, which I think is great for this team. She's um, big on improving and tweaking little things while not changing the structure of what the U S women's national team has created. But yeah, she's great personality, great addition, and she connects well with us and she wants to improve because she knows that the talent's there. Obviously as a player, you're growing, you're evolving. Where do you think your game is right now? <laughs> um, yeah, I think again, I like to try to get better every season and, um, obviously I'm not producing as many goals as I want to, but at the end of the day, I think, Right now in my play, I'm 
proud of what I'm doing and I'm creating a lot of chances now it's just putting them away and executing in the final third I think will be important in the Olympics which I'm excited for yeah I mean I I gotta believe Paris having the Olympics I mean that's got to be pretty cool itself that's a fun host city going to Paris going to the south of France for for the soccer venues is that kind of a, a little bit of a draw excitement there yeah, it's it's definitely really exciting. I think Paris is an amazing place, and yeah. um, who doesn't want to go to Paris? Right, I think, that's what I'm like, saying. Like exactly, everyone's gonna want to go. And for me, Paris is one of my favorite places. So speaking from experience, and um, I think it's a it's a great a great host country, and I'm so excited. You know, you only get the Olympic experience for the first time once, so there's always an excitement of opening ceremonies, mingling with all the other athletes. I know you guys are generally going to be in the south of France for for the for the games. Are you going to be able to enjoy like the opening ceremonies and stuff? I'd hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm trying. I'm kind of again going with the flow and trying yeah, to catch right. up with everything that's happening. But yeah, I would assume so. And um, if we do, I think it's great for us to connect with other teams and be there for those moments. But if we don't, then it's just us doing our thing, locking in and focusing yeah. on soccer. So that's also good. What about family, mom? friends they coming over they excited what's the deal there yeah yeah that was the first thing as soon as I got the call I was like we're going <laughs> but yeah I think my mom my brother um and then my boyfriend will be coming so I'm really excited about that that's right and I, what was your mom's reaction because I know you had that first phone call I mean she's obviously been with you every step of the way yeah um I didn't call her 0.2 seconds after it happened so she um got really offended by that so I probably honestly just should have told Emma to, to add my mom to the call but she she was really excited she was really happy and yeah she's an emotional one so there were a couple tears for sure yeah I mean that, that that's amazing I assume she didn't find out on social media like you, you called her right no 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 I called her it just wasn't as fast as she wanted it to be that, <laughs> that's so funny and in terms of you know, the camp and getting ready because you, you finish up the club side and then you're going to go on this this camp. How important, explain to our viewers, like th that camp process of like getting ready, getting getting the systems in place to, to go over to Paris. Oh, yeah, I think the pre-camp is really important and just to be able to get the feel and get back in with your team being in the U.S. I think is nice for us. Um, it's not a complete shift of trying to meet up in a different country. So being able to train together and get acclimated again after playing with a bunch of different clubs is is really important, really huge. And for me, I'm excited that our, our send off is at Audi. Uh, it's a great stadium and that'll be sold out for sure. So, yeah. I totally forgot that. Yeah, we got that credential request the other day. So we'll be there covering that as the uh, U.S. Women's National Team looking to get that gold medal. Trinity Rodman, a part of that team. Trinity, appreciate your time as always. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, much more to come right here on Toyota Sports Talk. Stay with us.